This is the Weather Extreme video for Friday, July 3rd. I'm James Spann, a moist air mass still in place. And we've got rain at times today. Same thing tomorrow and Sunday, but the weekend, not all wet. Now, let's check it out this morning. Same upper air pattern, a northwest flow aloft here, big trough over the east. And hey, what an active morning. That was the radar early this morning at 529. Uh, big storms over the northern third of the state. In fact, flash flood warnings for parts of Marion and Cherokee counties to start the day. Temperatures are mostly in the 70s. And again, the Gadsden number is not right. Uh, that sensor has just got a problem. It doesn't report most of the time, and when it does, it's wrong. We have no control. We hope the FAA fixes that soon. Uh, Birmingham at 78 will expect a high in the middle 80s today. Uh, you can see counties in north Mississippi under flash flood warnings as well. And to the north, we have flash flood watches for much of eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky, up into uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Strong storms a possibility today. The standard slight risk up for a pretty good chunk of north Alabama, a marginal risk down to Montgomery. Tomorrow, a marginal risk for far southwest Alabama and no risk defined on day three, although thunder is certainly a possibility. Day three is uh, Sunday, of course. Rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning. This is showing one to two inches over north Alabama, and a lot of folks up there have had that just this morning. Uh, you know, summer rain distribution is not even at all. It's hard to really draw these maps, but clearly the heavier totals over North Alabama, lighter amounts down south. And if you're headed down to the beach, it's going to be fine. You'll see a decent amount of sun with the standard risk of a few passing storms each day. And uh, the tropics, quiet. No hurricanes, no tropical storms. I mean, that air out there is just bone dry over the deep tropics. All right, model fans, the GFS, this is the... 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock. You can see broad troughing down here. And again, a moist air mass. We'll see scattered to numerous showers and storms about today. That's the uh, HRRR at 7 o'clock this evening, looking pretty wet. So uh, I get the idea we're not going to see a lot of sun today, with occasional showers and storms likely. Tomorrow, yes, we'll see intervals of sun. Should rain on us a time or two, but it's not going to rain all day. Uh, high tomorrow, low to mid-80s. Same thing Sunday. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 84 with a chance of scattered showers and storms along with a mix of sun and clouds. And kind of the same deal next week. There's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Moist air stays in place. Highs uh, mid to upper 80s. The risk of scattered showers and storms. And they get toward the end of next week. This is Thursday. The showers should thin out somewhat as the heights come up. And this is a week from today, Friday, July 10th. You can see a uh, 590 ridge across the southern states, so that looks pretty standard. Partly sunny, hot, muggy, an afternoon storm in a few spots. Here's the end of the forecast. Uh, this is Sunday, July 12th. Still got a weakness in through here, a break in the ridge, so again, we'll clearly have some risk of scattered showers and storms. I think these numbers are too high on the maximums uh, coming off the ensembles. It ramps up to 98 on uh Monday, July 13th, I guess we could do that, but I'd say it's not likely. We'll expect low to mid-90s by then. Anomalies July 10th through July 16th. This does show above average temperatures here with near or below average numbers for the northern half of the United States. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We're on a holiday schedule, so just one today. Back to the two-a-day schedule Monday. Uh, Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have these updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.